Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the limit as x approaches negative 1 of 3 absolute value of x plus 1 over an x plus 1, and we need to evaluate this limit. To get a picture of this, I'm going to use a table here. We'll see what happens as we we'll get close to negative 1. I know I can't put negative 1 in right away. It doesn't exist because we'll be dividing by 0 there. So we do a table. We have our, our x and our y here. If we put a negative 3 in for x, let's say, negative 3 here in the up top part, we have negative 3 plus 1 is a negative 2. Absolute value of that makes it a positive 2, right? Well, then we multiply by 3, we get a 6. The denominator, we have a negative 3 plus 1, which is a negative 2, and 6 divided by a negative 2 is a negative 3. Okay? Hmm. Interesting. Well, what happens if we put a negative 2 in? All right, let's keep going down. Negative 2 in for x. Negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1. Make that positive with the absolute value, and we have a 3 up top. And then we have a negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1. So 3 divided by negative 1 is a negative 3. Again, we have it there. If we plug a negative 1 in here for x, well, it doesn't exist, right? You can't put negative 1 in the denominator. It gets a 0 there. So we DNE. But a positive 1, if we put that in, what happens when we have a positive 1? Well, 1 plus 1 is a 2, and a 2 times a 3 is a 6. 1 in for x down here, 1 plus 1 is a 2, and then 6 divided by 2 is a positive 3. So what's actually happening with this function here? Well, what this actually looks like, if we make a quick sketch of this, this, is, this function is basically doing this. This happens sometimes when you have your uh, absolute values of the same thing over itself. Our function here, all right, looks something like this. And this is at uh, a negative 1. And this is a negative 3. And this is a positive 3 up here for the y value. Okay. So our function here is doing something where if we approach from the left, it's always going to be a negative 3. And then it hits, there's nothing there at negative 1. And then it jumps. And then uh, negative 1 greater than negative 1, it's a positive 3. Okay. Um, oh, I guess I could have shown 0 here and make it a little easier here for you. Zero, and for, uh, 0 here, 1, and then 3 up top, right? And then divide by 1 is 3. Skip that one. Sorry. Well, with that, we can see then from uh, the negative 1 here, it has two different values that's approaching from the left and the right. So when that happens, when we push different values from the left and the right of negative 1 here, we would say that this limit does not exist. And that is our final answer. I hope the video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math.